St. Joan Live Movie Reviews, brought to you by Reese Nichols. The original folktale that Cinderella is based on is dark but not childish, and the iconic animated Disney film is childish but not dark. This new live action Cinderella is a little bit of both, but pleases neither kids nor adults. After her father unexpectedly dies, young Ella, played by Lily James, finds herself at the mercy of her cruel stepmother, played by Kate Blanchett, and her stepsisters, who reduce her to scullery maid. Despite her circumstances, she refuses to despair. She hopes that she might reunite with a dashing stranger she met in the woods, played by Game of Thrones' Richard Madden. Then help arrives in the form of a kindly beggar woman. Now this film bounces between being really dark and super shiny and sunny. And that's all there really is. There's no real in-between, which is a problem. It hammers on the theme of being courageous and kind, but seemingly has no heart behind that message. And really, the movie in general is just lacking in magic. Now, James and Madden do have some great chemistry, as they show in one of the film's best scenes, this ballroom scene where Cinderella shows up in the big blue dress and everything is magic. It drops the pretense and it's a lot of fun. Kate Blanchett also has fun being evil, but that's all she really is. There's no nuance to her character. The CGI for the movie is very Tim Burton-esque. It'll remind you of Alice in Wonderland, and even though it's not Tim Burton, it'll, movies like Maleficent come to mind. And so is the aesthetic, and it's just kind of bland and boring. And that's how I would describe the movie as well. I'll give this movie two Joes out of five. It's just not really something you want to catch in theaters, I don't think, and I have trouble recommending it. But before that, the Frozen Fever, the short film based on Frozen, uh, their continuation of Frozen, reunites all of the characters. Kids will have a lot of fun watching that. Parents might too if they're not already sick of Frozen. It's way more fun than the actual movie. To read my review, check out St. Joe Live in Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press or go online to stjoelive.com.